The use of power is integral to leadership success, but what power actually is? Is power a synonym to influence, coercion, control, and authority? Leaders combine five sources of power in different ways to achieve both short and long-term goals. Noted social psychologists John R. P. French and Bertram Raven conducted a study in 1959 and concluded that power can be divided into five different forms. In this video we will cover five types of power and how to use them as a leader. The first type of power is legitimate power. This power comes to the leader when the organization's authority is accepted. It comes from the rules of the organization. For example parents, teachers, managers, police, etc. have legitimate power only when their authority is accepted in the positions they hold. The second type of power is, expert power. This source of power, stems from one's expertise, skill, and knowledge. This is the power of knowledge, and skill of special kinds that is important in, getting the job done. A person's professional competence, or knowledge, gives him or her expert power. Leaders of professional work groups, engineering, finance, techno-functional, domain knowledge experts, human resources, and so on, rely heavily on this type of power for their success. The third type of power is charismatic power. This is the power of attraction or devotion, the desire of one person to admire another. A leader high in this source of power is liked or admired by others based on personal traits. This power drives the subordinate to understand and value the leader so much. That one understands, and acts according to the, expectations of the boss or the leader. It helps one, to act as one's own boss, and behave in ways, one thinks the boss will want. Fourth type of power is reward power. This power is the, present or potential ability to reward for worthy behavior. This power is, based on the leader's ability to provide rewards, real or intrinsic. The superior or the leader, has the power to give tangible rewards such as promotion, office space, time off from work, attractive work assignments, and help to the subordinate. Also, psychological rewards, like praise, appreciation, approval, and recognition can be given by the leader or the superior, to the subordinate. The subordinate has to believe, that, the leader has access to higher authorities, therefore, the leader can give rewards. This reward power, of the leader, can also increase the leader's charismatic and legitimate power. In organizations, rewards are often positive incentives, such as pay, promotion, or recognition. The last type of power is coercive power or punishment power. This is the ability to threaten, or punish. This power is based on fear of the leader. The leader has the authority to control potential punishments, like, undesirable work assignments, reprimands, or dismissal. There will always be circumstances in an organization when a leader needs to exercise some form of, coercive power, in difficult situations. The leader can give tangible punishment, like dismissal, demotion, low rating, less satisfying work assignments, etc. He may also give psychological punishments, like criticism, avoidance, disapproval, or satirical remarks, etc. on the subordinate. The reward power helps to avoid something undesirable. Advantages of Power in Leadership one of the most important tasks of the manager is to get work done to meet organizational goals by motivating employees. Reward power gives leaders the power to exert influence on subordinates by having the power to reward excellence or good work. Leaders must be able to influence their followers to achieve greater performance and drive important decisions across organization bureaucracy. Leaders use various types of powers to influence up, down, and across the organization, impacting business results by driving behavior change. All product names, logos, and brands are property of their respective owners. All company, product and service names used in this course are for identification purposes only. Use of these names, logos, and brands does not imply endorsement. Course uses royalty free stock images and music. Thank you for watching or downloading our training material. If you need copies of this material for corporate training or commercial use please contact. Info at technofunk.com for further details. To watch our free videos visit us at www.youtube.com slash technofunk.